Hey guys, McJeffries here and welcome to a very special vlog because today, the 22nd of July, is the first year anniversary of my channel being a proper, I wouldn't say full time because I don't do this as a job, but first proper channel where um, you know I upload videos constantly, create series and you know proper content for you guys to enjoy. Uh, the 22nd of July 2013 I uploaded a video called The Halo Zone Episode 1. Um, there were no other episodes after episode one because I found out the Halo Zone was a name already taken. So um, it did become the Halo Games, I think it was, and then the Halo 4 games. But despite the fact we had lots of footage recorded, me and uh, Jeff is 191, aka my brother, uh, we never actually really got around to making those videos. So, you know, we've got them sitting around somewhere, and if people really want to see them, we all think about finishing them, uploading them. But um, the Halo Zone was my first ever proper video. Before that, I had two other videos. I had a Football Manager one, which was filmed on my phone, which wasn't very good. Um, and that was just a good goal that I scored during a match. I thought, oh, that looks good, I'll film it. And then I thought, oh, I could upload that to YouTube, so I did that too. And the one before that was uh, a video called That's a Wrap, which, um, when I did media back at school, I had to make a small pilot for a, a comedy series or um, a small intro to a comedy program. Um, so I chose to do one based on the idea of a studio trying to make a TV show. So it's called That's A Wrap. Um, it's me, my brother, and my friends playing different parts. Uh, I'll put a link for it in the description for those of you who do want to watch it. it. It was okay. It's something that I've, it's an idea that I've sat on for about six or seven years now. Um, wanting to make it a proper series. I've got some scripts written. I just need to cast it really in a nerd find somewhere to film it and film it and create a budget for filming it and it's just it's a little bit difficult so right now that's a, a future pipeline thing for now I'm just focusing on the gaming side of my channel um, so yeah like I said it's been a year what can I say about the last 12 months well it's been difficult um, I wasn't expecting you know millions of subscribers within the first 12 months but I think I'm, I'm hitting below my quota right now. I've got 85 subscribers at the time of filming this. Um, I'd very much like more, but I'm not going to go around, you know, spamming my channel saying, "Oh, follow me, subscribe to me, I make the videos you want to see," kind of thing, because that might not necessarily be true. I've got, um, I'd say about 80 subscribers, because five of them are f close friends and family. So, uh, 80 subscribers just from the videos that I have made and the tags that I've put on them and the titles, descriptions, all that stuff uh, so I'm quite proud of myself for that because I managed to find a series in particular Cities of Motion 2 where I love the game, I love playing the game, I love recording the game, I like making videos in the game, all of it and I managed to find that series where not many people were actually playing the game um, and to the friend whose name I've forgotten let's check quickly <clears throat> El Shaffer um, commenting on the on the latest video I think it was that I put up saying you know how much he enjoyed the series and how he's bought the game and not many people are making videos on that game anymore um, and that's basically my target market I chose two games when I first started my channel that I considered mainstream and they were FIFA and uh, Full Manager I then chose another selection of games which I've started making videos on more and more now um, that I thought were a bit more niche, you know, a bit more, the market was a lot smaller, but they were games that I enjoyed playing. Uh, and those games are Prison Architect, Cities in Motion 2, Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, Pez, although that series died a death, um, Watch Dogs, that series has also died a death, uh, and I tried to do Call of Duty Ghosts as well, but I think I've, I've, I've got a little bit too late in that one. And I've mentioned it in a few videos, I tried to make uh, Battlefield videos, and the game screwed me over, so that wasn't an option at the end of the day which is a bit of a shame because I mean there's nothing wrong with the game apart from the fact it deletes your save files and the net code's a bit screwed up when it comes to playing online but you know apart from that it's a fairly decent game um, but the series I have got running now once again just give me one second whilst I get my uh, my screen up I have I think it's six running series five or six I will tell you guys momentarily. We have the Million Dollar Prison, obviously, um, which is, I'd say, probably my second or third most successful series. Um, we have 
Football Manager, The Basics, which has only just started. I think three episodes have gone live, and the fourth one goes live this evening. Um, five o'clock, I think it goes up. I'm not 100% sure on that one, I need to check that. Uh, we also have Testers FC, which hasn't been on for a number of weeks now, mainly because I can't quite bring myself around to, to editing the videos because there's a lot of footage that gets cut out and it's really really difficult turning a 15-20 minute game into a 5-6 minute video so I will have to dedicate a day where I just sit down and get on with it I've got I think it's another four more since the first six that we've put up that are ready to go um, but I'd like to batch it up maybe get up to like 20 and then upload it all in one go and have it scheduled to go up once a week um, we also have Jeffrey's vlogs, which I suppose this goes into that category. Um, I'll be doing a lot more of that. I have a lot of challenges lined up that I'd like to compete against other people doing. Um, some of them that have been done many, 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 many times before, and some of them that hopefully haven't been done before, uh, or you know, have only been done one or two times, and therefore it's still fresh and new. Um, I do have lots of ideas for things that I can vlog about the biggest issue for me with that is I don't watch many vloggers myself um, I wouldn't say I was even that good at vlogging right now because I've only just started doing it myself um, so it's, it's a question of what would you guys like to see me do in vlogs like would you like me to talk about what I do on a day to day basis or would you prefer that I stick to challenges and compete against people uh, what would you like to see basically uh, there was another series that I had started up which I really really need to bring back which is called Jeffries vs Jeffers191 um, so far there's only one video in that series and that's me playing my brother at golf which was fairly entertaining I enjoyed making the video it was a little bit because again we didn't really know what we were doing so it was a little bit uh, I don't know it felt a bit amateurish felt very scripted at times because we were sort of telling each other what we wanted to say um, and you know it wasn't it wasn't the best watching and it was 45 minutes long or something like that as well so we'll definitely have to cut it down if we decide to do that again we are arranging a rematch sometime this summer and that video will be going on here so uh, you guys can tune in and see whether actually I won't spoil the first one but we'll see who wins um, and again a link for that I'll probably put in the description I'm gonna put all my sort of flagship videos in the links in the description down there so uh, you guys can check out what I have been doing for the last 12 months if you've only just joined the channel now. Um, other series. No Limits 2. I've got four videos in that so far. I've got Psycho, Thunder, Manic Miner with no scenery. Manic Miner, uh, I did a test live stream um, where I sort of showed how the ride was looking and things like that. Manic Miner is now finished. I have a recorded video of that, although I'm going to re-record it because I want to do a bit more track work on that. Um, and that will be going up into that playlist uh, and that's something else I'd like to carry on doing no limits videos because for those of you who have been here since the start you'll know that um, I am a university student at the moment I'm studying engineering and I'd very much like to become a roller coaster designer when I graduate which is why I'd play games like no limits and roller coaster tycoon because although in terms of science and things like that they have no relation to the real world whatsoever um, you know, it, it helps me come up with ideas and, and things that I find that will become unique so that once I do graduate and get out into the real world, um, I've got some ideas that no one else has really thought of before and that might put me, you know, the next level up from uh, from many designers out there. <coughs> Excuse me. The Lazarus Project. Now that was going to be not just bringing Portsmouth back from the dead, which is what Lazarus I'm not 100% sure. Lazarus is something to do with coming back from the dead. I know that for a fact. Um, mainly through watching Doctor Who. But um, I did a little bit of research on what Lazarus was. And the idea of the series was I bring Portsmouth back from League 2, back to the Premiership and beyond. It started off really well. Lots of people were really interested in what I was doing. Um, you know, I was getting messages from people saying, you know, do this, do that. Players to sign. Not many people recommended players to sign. But I kind of had a set list if I wanted to get anyway. So that wasn't a problem. Um, and I, I tried to upload videos every Saturday and Sunday and people like the idea of a FIFA weekend that seemed to be quite popular however for some reason people stopped watching and you know the, I think my latest videos which 
put online about three, four months ago, only got two or three views, and that's a bit bewildering, really, because it went from being really, really popular to not being popular, and it wasn't like I changed the upload time or anything like that. People said, oh, FIFA weekend, that looks good, so I did that. Saturday, Sunday, same time every week, two videos, and nobody watched them. So that episode and that series, um, it died, basically. Lazarus is dead. And that was also going to be the series that brought my channel back because for a while it was dwindling. Not many people were watching my videos. And, you know, it was a bit of a downer. But I wasn't going to give up. And as you can see now, I've got videos that are popular and people are watching them. Um, and that brings me on to, I think, the channel that got me the most subscribers. Not the channel, the series that got me the most subscribers. And that is You Don't Win Anything With Kids. Um, now, this was an idea that I had for a long time now, I'm Football Manager, I've been going into the database and creating my own team. And, you know, it's it's had a variety of names like Welling Garden City Wanderers, um, Hatfield Hotspur, sort of, you know, generic team names to do with where I'm from, which is, you know, Hertfordshire, Welling Hatfield area. Um, I then had the idea of putting my friends in the game. So me, my brother, and about five or six of my friends, we all had players made roughly based on how good we were at football. I did beef up virtually everybody's stats just so they'd have a chance of playing for a non-league team, never mind a, a football league team. Um, and you know, I enjoyed doing that. And then I had the really, really good idea, which I first started on PES, um, which was create a team entirely of kids, 16, 17, maybe even 15 year olds. Um, create them on PES first because it's very easy to go onto the editor on PES and just change a player's appearance, name, nationality, that sort of thing. And then take that team and put it into Football Manager. So when Football Manager 2014 came out, um, first thing I did was buy the game, obviously, went straight into the editor and translated my PES team into that and created a team called Jeffries United. And... Uh, took that team into the Blue Square South, no it's not called Blue Square anymore, it's, it's called Squirrel, Squirrel South and see how high I could get them and we started off really well, the first video I think got 300 views which, you know, there's some people out there who think, oh 300 views is nothing but considering, I think the highest I'd had before that was 10 or 20 so to then get 300, you know, it's a massive size difference and I, you know, I was overwhelmed by the support that people were giving me. They were saying how they were liking the videos, and my subscribers went up from something like 10 to 50 just from the first season. Um, and it went well. We won the first league, we won the second league, we won the third league, we won the fourth league. Um, I had a special edition hundredth episode, which I really enjoyed making, and you know, it was going really, really well. And then again, like the Lazarus project, suddenly people stopped watching, and maybe it's because I was bringing out too many videos. I had a video every day, seven days a week, um, which I thought would be cool. But then I, maybe I related it too much to what I like to watch and not what other people out there like to watch. So I ended up with all these videos. I think I got to 155 in the series in the space of about three months, which I kind of understand now is probably a little too much. You know, people become a bit overwhelmed and lose interest as a result of that. And if they miss an episode for whatever reason, you know, if they're out or whatever, um, then they miss an episode, they don't want to watch the next episode because they haven't seen the previous one, and then they never get time to watch the previous one. Meanwhile, more and more episodes are coming out, so they just drop off the series, they lose interest. Uh, so in the end, I think that one bite, bit me in the backside a bit. So... Uh, you know, it was a fun series to do, and I've always been thinking about ways to bring it back. But I guess, right now, the market isn't there for me. So, I have a new series lined up, which takes the the existing team and basically picks up from where you don't want anything with kids left off. Uh, you don't want anything with kids, by the way. The title comes from the famous Alan Hansen quote, which was, I think his one was, you can't win anything with kids, which he said on the opening day the Premier League season in the 90s, I believe. It was the time where, the I think it was 92, because I think it was, it was when the class of 92 uh, was starting to play for Man United. And he said, you can't win anything with kids. And then they obviously went on to win the Premier League that season. Um, 
or was it the season after? It might have been the season after. I can't remember. But um, again, it was it was my way of saying, especially with Hanson retiring, season just gone. You know, you can in fact win with kids, and here's me doing it, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I've I've got a new series lined up. The name's in the pipeline still at the moment, but it's along the lines of the Wonder Kids, and it picks up from where you don't want anything with kids left off. Um, Jeffrey's United in the Championship. Uh, how how much further can we take the team, basically? Um, and it's going to follow a similar similar premise to the basics in that there'll be a video every so often updating on how the team are getting on. The occasional match would be featured, but apart from that, it'll just be me playing behind the scenes and then you know uh, every six game months showing you how I've I've been getting on. Other series that I've had: Well, Cities of Motion Two. That is probably my my flagship series now. It's the one that gets me the most views. It's the one that gets me the most comments, most likes, most subscribers. Um, and it's a fantastic game. I highly recommend the game to anybody who has even looked at it on the Steam store and gone, oh, I don't really know whether I want that or not. Buy the game. Get it in a sale because, you know, the lower the price, the better the deal. Um, but it's such a good game. And all the DLC that's come out with it just makes the game better, in my opinion. So I would definitely recommend it. And then watch my videos because I show you how to play from scratch. Start from the beginning, work your way up. I do campaign for the first, I think it was 40 episodes. And then I started doing a sandbox game, um, which I actually enjoy more than the campaign. So I might not go back to the campaign, but I really enjoy doing the sandbox. It's fantastically fun to play. Uh, what else have I had? Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, doing the scenarios on that. That's now ended. However, Somerset Hills International is coming back. I have a whole series of videos of me building rides, and they're looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Um, and they'll be hitting your screens probably this weekend coming, if not next weekend. Um, and I'd like to turn it into a Rollercoaster Tycoon weekend, where I either have a video go up every Saturday and Sunday, or a video just going up on a Sunday or a Saturday. So once a week or twice a week, that's the choice. Um, if any of you out there have a preference, drop a comment, let me know. Um, and I'll definitely take your advice on board. Other series, again, Kerbal Space Program. That is one that I tried to bring back several times. And I did a few test episodes to see whether it was feasible bringing it back. And, you know, I sort of came to the conclusion that unless I start completely again from scratch, it's not going to work out for me because... I just got to the position where I think I went up the wrong tech tree line and now I've explored the whole planet pretty much so wherever I go I can't get enough science to unlock anything else so I think starting again from scratch is probably the best option on that one so again if you guys want to see me play Kerbal Space Program leave a comment um, and I'll definitely consider it but I will only do it if the demand is there uh, SimCity that one also died because mainly I lost interest SimCity, The Sims, games like that. Um, Meet the Davenports as well was the other The Sims. No, sorry, At Home the Davenports with The Sims 3 series that I was doing. And I just lost interest in the game, to be quite honest. Sims 3 was difficult anyway because of copyright strikes. And SimCity was copyright struck until I turned off the music and then it became monetized. I just, I just, I really got bored with the game. There's nothing wrong with the game, it just it becomes a bit samey after a while. So until something different happens again, you're going to have the same thing over and over and over. And it's not very interesting for videos and it's not very interesting for, for leisure time either. So I cut those series before they became dull, really. Um, Somerset Hills International I've already talked about. Bottom to top, FIFA 14. That was with Fleetwood, wasn't it? Um, well, that beca basically became the basics, Foot Manager the Basics. So I started with Fleetwood, I tried to see how high I could get them on FIFA. Lost interest in that series and that's where the Lazarus project came from. Um, and then I turned the Fleetwood team into Football Manager. When I started the basics I chose Fleetwood partly because of the From Bottom to Top series. I thought, you know, I owe them a debt. Um, I tried and failed to get them back to the Premier League so I'll try again. And, you know, I won't reveal any spoilers on the basics but, you know, it's going, it's going pretty well I think, the series in general. So, uh... That's encouraging to see, and it's getting more views than you don't want anything with kids did towards the end, so that's definitely encouraging. Somerset Hills Railway, yeah, I saw a few popular train sim videos and I tried to emulate those, 
and it wasn't really working for me so I left that one at 3. I still play the game but I just don't record it. Pez, well you all know what's happened to Pez so there's no need to go over that one. Uh, Call of Duty again that was Black Ops 2 and you know two more games have come out I believe since then so that wasn't going to happen anymore and the Halo Zone I've already mentioned became the Halo games uh, and looking at this I don't actually think I uploaded the Halo games video in the end so who knows maybe that'll come back maybe not but that's just you know that's a brief summary of all the videos that I've been making over the year over the last 12 months if I go back into the videos list I'll tell you how many I've got because I believe we are in the 400s if I remember rightly which again I think I've been spamming videos a little too much trying to um, get views basically because I want to get views and get my name out there and you know get more subscribers on board and things like that but uh, it's a slow process but it's starting to speed up um, I was with YouTube partnered I'm now with a network called Attach which is powered by Freedom um, and you know that's probably the best decision I've made since becoming a YouTuber um, to leave YouTube and to go to Freedom because not only do is the revenue share greater in my favour but also the support that they give you um, without you even having to ask they just offer you know uh, courses and how to become a better uh, uploader and content creator and all of that stuff it's just it's really 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 helpful and useful and just kind in general that they actually take the time out to help up and coming YouTubers become the next big thing um, whereas YouTube themselves if you partner with them you know you get the money it's not anywhere near as much money um, and the, you know they have the content creator hub where you can go on there and ask them for help but if you don't ask you don't get basically so uh, I think you know if, if there's any other YouTubers out there who are watching this who are in a similar situation to me um, but are partnered with YouTube I strongly suggest applying to Freedom um, and seeing what networks they have that can help you out because they really really are I just I don't know where I, my channel would be right now if it wasn't for Freedom that's for sure um, and Attach as well of course uh, so yeah I, I would recommend taking that option and becoming affiliated because you get the, the community connection as well and you, you can um, start making joint videos with other YouTubers and collaboration series and you know it becomes a lot more fun right guys well I guess I've pretty much run out of things to say we're coming up to 25 minutes um, so before you guys get bored I suppose I'll start wrapping this video up it has been a fantastic pleasure the last 12 months recording these videos and no matter how many times I've considered giving up um, because lack of views or loss of interest or, you know I don't like where the series are going um, someone's always chosen that moment to comment on one of my videos saying how much they're enjoying it and it just gives me that inspiration to carry on going um, so thank you guys because you're the reason I, I carry on doing this uh, even if it's just one person a week commenting saying I like what you're doing keep up the good work that just makes me want to make tons more videos um, so normally I read the comment and then that's what I do I get straight on the desktop and make some more videos uh, also thank you to my subscribers 85 of you out there you know it's not the biggest number in the world as I've already said but that means 85 people out there have liked what I've done and subscribed so that they can see more of it and you know there's 7 billion people in the world so it's a tiny tiny percentage but it's not just the UK it's all around the world people have been watching my videos and subscribing and you know it, it feels like it, well it just feels good knowing that there's people out there who like what you're doing so thank you once again to my subs for um, not only subbing to me but also remaining subbed because I have lost a few over the months as well and I don't blame them at all if they decide it's not for them and they click the unsubscribe that's entirely up to them um, but luckily for me there's always been someone out there who's, who's subbed at almost the same time actually and made the numbers up again so once again thank you very much it means a lot to me that you guys take the time to to watch my videos and actually subscribe to this channel um, I'll just talk quickly about future projects I suppose I can do that I've already revealed a couple that's a wrap is always going to be a future project at the moment because I just can't find the time money or space to actually make it so that will be on the uh, the maybe list for now 
the basics, football manager, that's going to keep going. You don't want anything with kids, I really, really want to bring back, but I want to make sure the market's there first. Uh, the Million Dollar Prison, that's not going anywhere. Cities in Motion 2 is also not going anywhere. Those two series are my main series now, so uh, they'll definitely be continuing. Um, I'd like to do some more FIFA, whether it's Testers FC, the Lazarus Project, or um, anything like that. I'm going to swerve away from Ultimate Team, because I think it's the most overrated, over-filmed series on FIFA. So uh, I'd like to avoid that as much as possible. Um, Somerset Hills, as I've said, that's already coming back, so that's going to be continuing. Um, no Limits, I'd like to bring a few more of my creations to you guys. Uh, and apart from that, I can't really think of much else. So I think that'll be it from now on, unless something else comes to me. Watch Dogs is, is being cancelled, Call of Duty is being cancelled. Um, I was considering doing GTA, we'll see how that one goes. But until until then and I can update you on the, on those a little bit more when I've decided what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to round up this episode guys so once again thank you very much to all my subs all my viewers uh, anybody who's shared this for example so if you if you like this video now be sure to, to click the like button and, and share it to, so that all your friends can watch this as well uh, I'm going to put the first episode of all my series the links to them in the description below so feel free to watch them as well and if you like what you see they're all in a playlist I always make sure that my videos are in some form of playlist so you can watch them from start to finish uh, and and yeah I actually I might put the playlist links in the description box so you can just watch the playlist I think that would be the more logical way of going about it um, but yeah I'm going to end this episode here guys so thank you once again for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you and you like what you see, then be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, then thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.